And you testify that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. You understand what's the meaning of servant and messenger now? And why these two words? His servant prevents you from going to the extreme. His messenger also make you respect him, believe him, follow his teachings. وَأَنَّ عِيسَى عَبْدُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَكَلِمَتُهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمَ وَرُوحٍ مِّنْ And that you testify that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, is his servant, is the servant of Allah. He's not son of God, he's the servant of Allah. He is himself mentioned, I'm the son of man. He worshipped only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He prostrated to Allah. He cried to Allah. Okay? So, many, many, many places in the Bible, they are so explicit, they indicate that he is a messenger of Allah. So he is Abdullah wa Rasul. So he is the servant of Allah and messenger. And subhanAllah, the Christians, may Allah guide them, they say he is son of God. Why? Because he has no father. Adam he has no father, neither father nor mother. So he must be huh, also son of God. That's the answer the Quran gave. In the Allah Isa and Allah, come to Adam, Khalakum into Radhmaqala Lukun. So the likeness in the sight of Allah, of Jesus Christ, is just like the likeness of Adam. He created Adam from the clay and he said, be, and he was. And the same thing Allah created Isa by that, by the command, be, and he was. So you cannot use that because he has no father, so he must be son of God. وَأَنَّ Isa عَبْدُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُ And he's the messenger of Allah. And we Muslims believe in that. And we love Isa, alayhi salam. We love Jesus Christ too much. And he going to come. We believe that he's alive. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ They killed him. Not, nor they, nor they crucified him. Okay? بَرْ رَفَعَهُ اللَّهِ Allah raised him up to him. So we believe in that. And he's going to come. And the first thing that he's going to do is to break the cross and kill the swine. Why he will break the cross? Because to tell the people I was not crucified. That is what is going to, to happen. And he will come down at Fajr time. We know the details. Christians, they don't know the details. We know what time he will come down. He will come down at Fajr time. In Damascus, in Syria. And the Muslims will be in the Fajr prayer. And the Imam will be Mahdi, alayhi salam. Imam Mahdi, Muhammad Abdullah al-Mahdi. And Isa will pray behind the Mahdi, alayhi salam. Jesus Christ will pray behind the Mahdi. And then the Dajjal, the Antichrist, will appear. And Isa will chase him. And Isa will kill the Antichrist with the spear. And he will come and show the blood of the Antichrist on the spear to the Muslims. That's what's going to happen. So he is the servant and the messenger of Allah. وَكَلِمَتْهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمَا And he is the word of Allah. What is the word? The Christian they said the word, and the word was the flesh. The word was, was with God, and the word was the flesh. No, it doesn't make any sense. What is the meaning of the word here? It means the command. Be and he was. Are you following? So Isa was... So Isa alayhi salam was created by the command. Be and he was. That is the meaning of the kalima. Wa kalimatu alqaha ila Maryam. So just be, you conceive and she conceived. That's why. She was astonished. How can I have a child when no man touch me? He said, that's what your law decreed. Allah wanted that to happen. 
So she conceived by the command of Allah Azza wa Jal. وَكَلِمَتْهُ أَلْقَاهَا إِلَى مَرْيَمَا وَرُوحٌ مِّنْهُ And he is the spirit. Isa alayhi salam. From him. So what is this a spirit from him? Ruhun min. So that's the Christians they say. You see, even the, your, your prophet say a spirit from him. That means the Father, the Son, the Son and the Holy Ghost. And also they say, even the Quran says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikr. It is we, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. We. And they say we is a plural pronoun in the Arabic language and it means three. But Alhamdulillah, the Quran already told us about this. Those who have a disease in their hearts, they will leave the clear ayat and follow the unclear ones. Why you accepted this and you don't accept wa ilahukum ilahum wahid? Your God is only one God. Why you don't follow that? Because you have a disease in your heart. Are you following? The Quran made it clear wa ilahukum ilahum wahid. Qul huwa Allah wahid. And this we is the royal we. It's respect. We the king, we the queen, etc. Okay? <clears throat> so here they're saying, the, the, your prophet is saying, Isa is the spirit from Allah. See? From him. Because this is the, the trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. We tell them, hold on. Allah attributed the spirit to him. He said, وَرُوحٍ مِّنْهُ I want you here to write and to concentrate. There are three forms of attribution. Well, is something material exists in its own and attributed to Allah. This is an attribution of honor and it is also an attribution that Allah attributed this creation to him to just give respect and honor. Like Baytullah, Allah's house, the Kaaba. The Kaaba is something material, exists in its own. Are you following me? So here, it is also for honor, respect. Allah attributed this to Himself. Because the Kaaba is the Kaaba. It is for that reason. The second, if what is attributed to Allah, the thing that is attributed to Allah, it is material, something material, tangible. But it doesn't exist on its own. It doesn't exist if what is attributed to Allah is material. It is material entity, but does not stand in its, by its own. It has to exist in something else. But it is material, you know material, tangible. This is something material, this is something material. You can touch it and feel it. This is a game. It's like the previous one, for honor and respect. Clear? Like what? Like the ruh, the spirit. The spirit is something material. It's something what? Material. Something created. What is the proof that the spirit or the ruh, the soul, is something material? Who knows? Is there an evidence that the soul, the spirit we have, is some, it is material? The, pers the dying person is what? Again, excellent. When you die, the soul comes out and it will be put in a shroud and it will be carried by the angels and the angel of death will be communicating and asking the soul to come out. Then it will be wrapped and carried and placed in, in a place in the Jannah or in Hellfire. Illiyin or Sijin. This proves it is what? It is material. But it doesn't exist in its own. It has to exist in something. That's why it is carried in the dunya and the body. And when it comes out, the malaika, the angels carry it. And in the second life, the souls and the spirits of the believers are carried by birds in the jannah. Are you following? 
So though it is something material, but it cannot exist in its own, cannot stand by its own, it has to exist in something else. This is a, an attribution of honor. Are you following? Sisters. Sisters? Are you following? They said okay? Okay. 